My father acquired the Bigfoot September 23rd, 1953. And when they acquired them, they were so immense that they had no other choice with most of them to dissect them, cut them up so that they could get them out of the swamp. Now this one in particular isn't that big, but it is still a, a very large creature. Now it's desiccated because it's been in a freezer for 65 years, give or take. But one thing in particular about this, this Bigfoot here is it has one of its legs, its foot above the ankle removed, and we have that in the bag. Now it's very, very interesting because you can see the feet. They stay, and this is true with the other ones that are younger, the feet stay smaller, and we believe that that's so that they blend in, look more human-like. Once they reach a certain age, which this one has not, they get a lot of girth and the feet get much, much bigger. Now this, this animal, if it was standing up, would be over six feet tall, but its feet are the size of like a human's if they were like size nine, something like that. And that's true of like an infant Sasquatch too. Like it's sort of like a normal looking foot, but it's still a very large creature. It's, it's immense. Something else that's very interesting about this creature, you can see that it is a male. It's clearly a male. Now we have both male and female of this species. We have, we have many specimens to look at. But it, it's interesting because the feet are still relatively small, like a human's, yet it appears to be a adult, yet it's not. So they mature quicker. We believe that that's so that they can breed at an early age because they're, you know, they're, there's encroachment upon their territory. It is a rare, rare creature. Now I want to bring you around the, around the backside so that you can see the gluteus maximus, which is just incredible. You can see the great power in these animals, the mus muscle structure, the legs, the torso is much longer than like a human's. This is nonsense that it's a human type. It's non-human. This is a non-human animal. It's not built like, it's covered in fur. This is not a human. I want to show you the muscles. The muscles on the gluteus maximus are immense. You can clearly see it's a male. And as we go around to the back side, there's the foot that matches up perfectly. It definitely came from this animal. It's been frozen with this animal for many years. You can see the toenail there to the foot. That's where the other foot was removed. It's been uh, frozen. It's all desiccated. You can see the gluteus maximus here is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. What a glorious, you know, wow, wow. Look at that. That's like out of a Japanese cartoon. Do you know what I'm saying? That is that is a massive, massive creature. I mean, they can they can haul ass. They can run 45 miles an hour uphill because of those massive legs. But the legs are short. Now you can see the the face. They always seem to look similar, and they always sort of like have that grin. I'm not really sure why they're grinning like that, but um, I know my father said that they were terrified. They were protecting themselves. The males and females both have facial hair like this. Um, I can't say I can't say uh, enough about this creature. It's it's a such an they're so interesting. It's a it's a beautiful creature, but it is non-human. These are non-human creatures. They look nothing like a human. Uh, many of them are in, some are in better shape. This one isn't in too bad a shape. Uh, some are in better shape. Like I said, they've all remained frozen. And uh, I think this one back in the freezer soon. There is a lot of conjecture on the internet about these creatures. And these specimens in particular. And I can state factually that the DNA has been checked. We've, we've checked the DNA, but it comes back of an unknown origin, comes back corrupted. These, we do not know where these creatures are from, 
My suspicions are that what they are is a biological recording device for the greys, and that is why we do not find the dead bodies. You, would, you know, if the creature's going to die in the woods, you find a skeleton. We don't find skeletons of these creatures ever. They do exist. They clearly exist. That is my belief, and I have other reasons for believing this. This creature died in this position, which is interesting because it sort of looks like I could probably, it's frozen, and we got to get it back in the freezer because it's, it's warm out today. But you could almost stand the creature up, and I'm not really sure if that's just how my father froze it, like a frozen position like this. Because you can, you can stand it up in the freezer. I, I don't know. There's a lot of questions about this one in particular, like why is the one leg cut off? I don't know. My father was in, maybe he cut it off and then sent it out for, you know, to have somebody look at. My father was talking to John DuPont years ago. Maybe it has something to do with, with maybe it has something to do with talking with John DuPont, who my father said was a lunatic. So maybe they t took this foot off, you know, after the fact. I don't know. I really don't know. There's a lot of questions about this specimen in particular, but it's a great specimen. Please subscribe to my channel. I have much more on Bigfoot coming up.